So as you can see here, the hacker has uh, my use of Facebook jammed here, stuck. And I've just uploaded a handful of videos that are apparently waiting to be processed. Okay, so there's one, there's one, that one's loading, finally, after how long, 16 minutes ago, there's one, there's one, there's one, well this one looks like it's not going to load, so they managed to effectively Delete this one. So let's see, 16, so 15 is not loading because this is for 15. And this is for 14. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. These are videos of experiences I had at the Delana Center just before we got here. I also want to add that um, I believe that uh, all of this interruption in my transferring of files from one storage destination on my tablet to another and then um, the delayed upload of the videos are all to um, encourage me to continue to look longer at my tablet screen because somehow someone here in this building is able to get my tablet to reflect ultraviolet radiation which is hurting my eyes. And how do I know that is ultraviolet radiation? Because I see yellow patches in the uh, screen occasionally as if I looked at the sun and then looked away and then looked back again. You have like a fading hologram of the light. It seems like they might do that by flushing a chemical in a toilet nearby. And I've had a similar experience um, of being on a toilet and um, at a house and there was a bedroom um, with a toilet on, on top of the bathroom that I was in in the basement. And there was a pipe um, that came down from that bedroom, bathroom. And, uh, and I was taking pictures of my, my head uh, because I was experiencing weird sensations. And I actually captured um, holograms of, of radiation um, flashes that in real time coordinated with the flush of whatever the material was in the toilet. So uh, I've been able to figure that much out just by listening and uh, observing. Uh, and then I, I get these sensations of, of um, since I've been here in this bathroom, uh, of, um, of uh, a rush, a release. Of, uh, of maybe a neurotransmitter in my, you know, chemical in my brain. So it's like um, a sensational flush throughout um, my head and face and arms and uh, so it doesn't hurt, but uh, it's pronounced. So, uh, my eyes right now are, uh, they feel very irritated and itchy and watery and uh, burned, kind of. Um, so, 
So, this isn't the best camera lens. This is the uh, inside local camera. Uh, let me see. As you can see, uh, I'm perforating on my face, but not anywhere else. I just can't believe I've, you know, I've been coming here now for the better part of a week, and I've had strange, um, painful and annoying sensations and experiences and I've called the police um, uh, I've complained to the um, to the coordinator here about these circumstances and yet they persist and um, they seem to be coordinated with what I'm doing on my tablet they're coordinated with me uploading videos as if to deter me from up uploading videos of my experiences. Uh, consistent hardship after hardship uh, of minding my own business. So you see I'm in the bathroom so I'm not making these complaints I'm in earshot of other people to disturb them. Uh, so I feel a sensation you know in my head now uh, well, I mean, I'm just, I'm in shock. I'm in shock at the, the audacity, the, the, um, the, the recklessness. I mean, who would after I've made complaints, continue to harass me. Um, with whatever I'm experiencing. Uh, knowing that I'm going to make a video about it. Regardless of if it's in a synagogue or a church. And, and post it. Uh, I, it's not my intent to want to um, make uh, negative accusations about what is supposed to be a holy place. But obviously someone here or some, some persons here um, disregard the fact that this is supposed to be a place of sanctu sanctuary and peace. Uh, and not only are they hacking my device and seeing what I'm doing, but they're trying to deter me or, or render penalty and consequence uh, for, for doing what is within my right, constitutional right to do, uh, human right to do. I, I'm, I'm so heartbroken that this happens in a place that comes across as ideal and um, at least relatively safe as uh, Ann Arbor. Uh, I went to high school here. I graduated in 96, but here at Huron High, uh, I came back as an adult and it's like a glorified, superficially beautiful um, looking gangland cult city. There's, uh, sometimes the harassment I experience it seems to come from, it, it, it appears as if it's the whole city, but I, I 
when I think back, I realize that I'm probably just experiencing a mob of maybe hundreds. Uh, that surely doesn't make up the entire population of Ann Arbor. So uh, there's apparently uh, no place that they won't follow me uh, to harass me, to control me. It's about control. I'm confident that if I delete all the videos that I posted and I stop making videos of my experiences of people acting strange around me or police violating my constitutional rights, um, that all this harassment may stop or it may not. Uh, um, um, it's clear what they want, but because they're vicious minded criminals, uh, you can't trust them, even if you gave them what they want. Uh, they're merciless. And they're arrogant and, and, and apparently ignorant and reckless and uh, laissez-faire, carefree. Um, I've only ever experienced that with humans that get the green card to do bad. Uh, they're under the impression that there aren't going to be any consequences. Uh, and perhaps there won't be any lawfully, uh, but that's not going to stop me from holding people accountable for what they're doing and recording and documenting my experiences, uh, even if I lose all of these videos and um, this device and this storage, I, I have a memory. Maybe that's the goal. The goal is uh, to disrupt that, my sobriety of mind. So, well, I mean, that's certainly one of the goals, uh, undoubtedly. And so it helps that I know that much. Uh, that helps a lot. But um, the new element of the game is the recklessness. Uh, what I experienced at, at the Delanis Center Shelter tonight, they know I'm going to, that we're making videos. Um, they didn't care. Uh, they're at a point where they don't care. Somehow they're under, they're under the impression that there's no social accountability for their conduct. And obviously and clearly it's the same here. Uh, well, that's my battery. <sighs> I'm not going to be bullied. And the wicked things that some of you are doing to me A lot of which I'm not even, I don't even know exactly what it is you're doing uh, or what you've done. Uh, it leaves no room for uh, for um, amnesty. Thank <laughs> you.